Welcome to Movies in the Man Cave. I am Master Reviewer Cody. Yes, indeed it is Master Cody, and I am Jared Jimney. And this week we reviewed Ip Man. It is a great movie on Netflix. Ha! <laughs> All right. We reviewed the movie Ip Man for this week, and it is a kung fu movie, so hence our <laughs> kung fu-ness at the right. beginning there. Sorry for that. We thought it would be funny. Uh, Ip Man is a Cantonese film. Yep. Um, right. About Master Ip, who was a... Uh, how do you say their form of kung fu? Uh, it was Wing Chun. Wing Chun, yeah. Wing Chun. Uh, he was a master, and it takes place during World War II, and instead of being all happy and teaching, he has to now kind of fight the Japanese. Right. And it's pretty cool. So, Jared? Right. Okay, uh, to start things off, typically with these kung fu movies, um, it kind of reminded me of like an Ong Bak, like the style, you know, the fighting. Typically, I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of this, and it definitely continues with Ip Man. Uh, the story was awesome, but, I mean, you're watching it for the fight scenes, and these were just, I mean awesome fight scenes there's the you know halfway through the movie there's a pretty epic battle scene the 10 on 1 fight and man it it had me cringing at the same time you know like freaking out at how awesome it was um i can watch people get shot all day long in movies and it's no big deal but watching yeah. that stuff whoa yeah and there's i mean sweet rabid punches you know going crazy um obviously we don't know any of the actors um donnie yen played ip man um, he looked familiar, like you were he, saying. I couldn't recognize him from something, but he looked, yeah. Yeah, he looked really familiar, but, um, aside from that, I thought the acting was really cool. Uh, we did have to read subtitles, obviously, but there's, uh, not the main bad guy, but his kind of henchman, uh, just a super creeper dude. Like, there's a scene where he interacts with a kid in there, and it's just like, oh man, what a creep. I don't know if it's his glasses, or what? I don't know what it, it was, but yeah, he's definitely a creepy guy. Super creep. Um, all in all... Yeah, pretty sweet story. Uh, what it seemed at the end was based on a true story. Is what it. Yeah, supposedly this Master Ip was a real guy, and he's the one yeah. who actually ended up training Bruce Lee. Right. Back in the day. And so, so yeah, I did not know that, and so that was really sweet to learn at the end. Um, the action was just awesome. If you watch it for anything, just watch it for that. I mean, that was super cool. And yeah, all in all, I I really dug it. Yeah, so. I I agree. I'm a fantastic movie. This was excellent. Way beyond my expectations. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, for a martial arts movie, the production quality was amazing. Mm -hmm. Normally you see these and they're either like grainy or poorly edited. Uh, this was just a great production to start with. Um, the, I, I really like the story. You talked about watching for the action, but the story has so much more depth than a normal martial arts movie where it's just like Grandmaster versus Grandmaster or whatever. Right. You know, it's just like... This really had a good story. At first, it was just fighting, but then all of a sudden, World War Two comes into it and adds a whole other dimension to this yeah. film. Um, yeah, the action. I mean, some of the best martial arts I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, some of the best. It was crazy. Uh, this Donnie Yen guy, he's, he's got some skills. Yeah. Um, I'll have to look for whatever else he's in, uh, including the sequel to yeah, this, which definitely, we're, we're going to have to watch because this is makes, makes it worth watching the sequel. Um Good, good characters, good fight scenes, um, good sets. You know, I, yeah. I, I liked the set design and everything they had going. Uh, it takes place in the late 30s, early 40s, mm -hmm. and it looked really cool uh, to see what China looked like then. I, I can't say enough good things about why you need to go see this yeah. film if you haven't. Uh, terrific, terrific. It, it's on Netflix Instant Stream. That's how we watch it. So if you have an account there, definitely add it. Absolutely. I go see this movie. <laughs> that about sums it is, that it up. It was made man. for man caves. I, you yeah. know, it's just that kind of film. Yep. The only thing, the only thing, and I'm just nitpicking. I think uh, we might agree on. Uh, I don't know. But for me, it was the sound effects. Oh, okay. My, uh, everything was so over the top, like... Yeah. You know, and all they're doing is, you know, they could be, you know, swatting yeah. at flies. <laughs> My, that was a little over the top. My thing, that my nitpicking thing, was the subtitles themselves. Like, lack of punctuation or capitalization. Uh, it like, wasn't done that, the best. Yeah, that stuff just... It's just a little thing like that that irks me, but... Minor. Yeah, very completely minor. Completely minor. It's just so. us trying to find weaknesses in this movie, <laughs> yeah, which is hard to do. Yeah, it's super hard. So, yeah, that's All it. Right. 
Excellent. Go see the movie. Uh, speaking of trying to find weaknesses, we found some winners yeah. this week. Anti for weakness. Quote. We had multiple winners, depending Across on the where the people wanted to comment. Uh, yeah. I believe on the Area, Area Voices site, we had Gus Schlepp is where he won. Yep. On Facebook, we had Brad Kwame. And YouTube, we had Ryan Steppen. So, good job, Boom. everybody. Three winners. You see, if that, that, we don't mind having three winners. If you see on the Man Cave... Area voices, somebody has the right answer. Yeah. You want to go put it on Facebook? You get your name on the show too. You can piggyback <laughs> off of somebody else. We're totally fine yeah. with that. Get your name out here. So, congratulations to those guys. Let's take a look at last week's clip. Like what? <laughs> like, like a rope or something. There's no Sears in Roebuck. You grab the snake. <laughs> that is Shia LaBeouf in uh, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. We had a we had a debate on Facebook, Brad. And myself, um, going back and forth about the movie. And I think Ryan, also on YouTube, uh, can go either way with a lot of Indiana Jones fans. I know you're a huge Indiana Jones fan. It had and... its moments. I definitely liked parts of the film, and I liked Shia LaBeouf in it. Yeah. Um, there's just so many parts that were over the top. Yeah, that's it its own good. review. But, <laughs> so. yeah, that was a funny clip. I like the quote, so that's why we used it. Do you have this week's quote? I do have this week's quote. Try to stick with the theme, remember that. And our quote is... I don't know karate, but I do know crazy. Ooh. Oh, oh, how about that? Uh, so if you can figure out what that movie is from, we just told you there's multiple places to put it. Put it on our Area Voices site. Uh, go out to our Facebook. Uh, put it on YouTube if you find yeah, us on the YouTube account. Twitter, yeah, send, send Jared a message on Twitter that he can see, and, and we'll get your name up here. So Sweet. Sounds good. Yeah. My, Are you excited for anything maybe coming to the theaters this week? I am completely stoked. Um, pretty big movie coming out this weekend. Winnie the Pooh is coming out. Is that... it, it is. No, that's true. Is Winnie that the Pooh is coming Something else? to theaters. Well, not for me so much. I thought oh. it was for you. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I'm going to be wrapping it up. I personally never read the books. <laughs> I know. Um, but I love the movies anyway, uh, and I'm definitely going to go see it in the theater, probably in 3D, just because that's probably that's how cool. it's going to end up. I don't know, um, but definitely looking forward to it. Uh, should be good. I don't know. The last one. Uh, yep. I've heard one. people have mixed emotions about it. They couldn't be more jacked to see it, but they also couldn't be more depressed that it's all coming to an end. Yeah, I'm going to be pretty bummed to not have a movie to look forward to every year. Um, I guess Narnia in a couple years. I don't know. It's going to be pretty sad, but it should be a good movie. Uh, I've only made it for, through the first two so far. <laughs> i got some catching up to do maybe before the end of the week if I'm going to go see this one. So we'll see how many of them I can stack back to back and maybe yeah. catch up. And like you said, Winnie the Pooh comes out this week. Yeah. It doesn't um, look awful. I mean, it looks like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. I like the dramatic music they put in the... Yeah, and, and I, I am I'm I'm you know I'm a big fan of the animated like the digital animation, but I am glad to see a classic animation. Oh, I'm sure. That, yeah, I'm glad they didn't make them 3D. Yeah, you yeah. know that would definitely have been bad. Um, also, a little minor note: it is rumored that a preview for the new Batman movie is on Harry Potter. So if you feel like paying the 13 bucks to go to the ultra screen just to see that, it might be worthwhile. It might be. It so, sure might. I hear be. it's like a minute and a half long, so it's got to be more than just a little teaser. So okay little info all right that is our show for this week before we go i do want to give a special thank you to the forum and inforum.com yeah. uh they've done a lot as far as giving us some coverage getting the word out there that we exist so people can see us so uh we're glad for their continued support and we like to do what we can for them so that's right all right that's it uh join us later in the week for a mini episode of course like always and we will see you then Ciao, <laughs> ciao. I'm talking, and this is not what I'm actually saying. No, it's and this not. This is not what I'm saying. Can you believe that? Wow, I can't believe that. That's pretty amazing. But what is going to be kind of funny is that we reviewed Ip Man. Ha 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 ha!